The Swingo 2100 has a 22 inch cleaning path and a 23 inch total machine width, making it able to fit through most doorways. It takes two 11 inch pad drivers or brushes and has a 4 hour runtime. The rear wheel drive prevents the machine from sliding in solution and climbs up inclined surfaces without issues. The Swingo 2100 has a safe maximum sound level of 70 decibels. There is an adjustable seat with a seat switch to allow the operator to be in an active sitting position, which is ergonomically better. The footprint of the Swingo 2100 is similar to a 20 to 22 inch walk behind scrubber, though your productivity increases are double due to the larger solution tank and the fact that the operator is riding instead of walking. The Swingo 2100 has intelligent features. It has automatic brush and pad mounting, automatically locks the squeegee assembly into place, slows down for safety while turning or reversing, squeegee slightly raises when going in reverse, brush pressure is self-adjusting and reads the contours of the floors, the deck won't move out until the machine starts to move, the body is designed for a tight turn radius that prevents tipping, there is an IntelliDose option and the IntelliTrail option. The Tasky scrubbers have five yellow maintenance points that need to be checked after each use. The brush assembly, the squeegee assembly, the gross debris filter, the solution filter, and the shutoff float. The serial number is located on the steering column. The battery compartment is located under the driver's seat hood and can be opened by turning the key. The machine takes four 6-volt gel-sealed maintenance-free batteries. There is a fuse located on the battery cables. The USB and communication cable ports to connect to the service tool are located under the flap on the battery compartment cover. The accelerator pedal is on the operator's right side. There is a location for optional toolkits located on the back of the machine. Let's take a look at the control panel. The emergency stop button. To engage, press down on the button. To disengage, twist the button and it will pop back up. Solution supply buttons. The program button, which is a one-touch start and stop button. It will turn on all functions when starting, and when you're ready to stop, you push it again. And it will shut down all functions in sequential order, starting with the solution, brush deck, squeegee, and vacuum. The brush motor lower and raise button. Vacuum motor button. The eco button. This button is a way to quiet the machine 10 decibels when around guests or during the day cleaning. LED work lights. LED warning lights. Cleaning Solution Indicator The display panel default mode shows the hour of use and when you turn on the push the service buttons it displays what service mode you are in. Service light which turns on at 650 working hours. The service light can be reset by pressing the plus and minus solution dosing buttons until the service LED switches off. Battery Indicator Battery Charging Level Indicator The battery charge lights only illuminate when you use an onboard charger. The standard unit comes with an offboard charger. The Horn Slow Approach Button Reverse Button that beeps when pressed Key Switch The lateral swing out button for the spring-loaded deck is designed for cleaning along a wall so you don't have to get the body of the machine too close. It also has an adjustable steering wheel. To adjust the steering wheel, unlock the lever and adjust to the desired position and then lock the lever again. There is also a double scrub mode where the squeegee assembly is in a locked position. To lock and unlock this feature, you will need to use the lever with the knob to make the adjustments when the squeegee is lifted and lowered. The solution system starts in the top of the front tank. Once the solution has been added, it flows through the magnetic valve and solution filter. Then the solution flows through a mixer that may have the optional IntelliDose system connected. The solution then gets pulled by a 24 volt pump through the solution line and then to the brushes where it is dispensed on the floor. To empty the solution tank, remove the solution drain hose and open the cap. The recovery system starts with a vacuum motor which is located in the recovery tank lid. To access the vacuum motor, remove the screws located in the tank lid. The vacuum motor creates suction that draws the dirty water from the squeegee assembly to the vacuum hose or there is an optional off-aisle wand that might be used instead of the squeegee assembly. The vacuum hose then deposits the dirty water into the recovery tank after passing through the gross debris filter. There is a shutoff float that will indicate when the recovery tank is full. To drain the recovery tank, remove the drain hose from the holder and press the crushing point of the hose and remove the cap. You can find a ton of support material for Tasky equipment and all other brands of floor equipment by going to usaclean.com. For any immediate help with any floor equipment, always call 1-800-USA-CLEAN. Thanks for watching.